The things that you can make with 3D printing are insane, but I want to push them to their limits. I'm going to challenge myself to 3D print my own face and hopefully end up with a beautiful clone of myself. But the only problem is I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh shit! No! So apparently you can use this app called Polycam that will make a 3D model just by taking loads of pictures. So I begged my brother to try it with me. Create new capture. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Do you think I look long enough? No, you're so fucking glad. You're actually ugly. The only problem is I don't think you're pretty pretty or pretty because you're so ugly. <laughs> It automatically takes the pictures for you when you move the camera to a new angle. And then with these images, it will somehow create a 3D model of my face. Are you ready? <laughs> Thank you. <so> <laughs> We're not going to be able to do it. Did you going to laugh? I'm not going to laugh. Don't make me laugh, dude. Honestly, it'll ruin the whole thing. Don't make me laugh. It's going to be so hard to do. Are you ready? <laughs> you're, so, you're so ugly. <laughs> I'm just realised how ugly you are. What am I meant to do with that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking fucking bad. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got one more chance to get to bed. <laughs> one more. One more. Alright, here we go. It's the way you're wanted it. Oh, that looks sick. Yeah, Oh, Let's check if some clothes in my mouth. When it was finally finished, we had to see how it turned out. Shit, look at it. Pretty good. It actually is. Look, it looks sick. Oh, my face. <laughs> so miserable. Oh, I've just seen the wall grind. Oh, it's like really good and really shit at the same time. I've got fucking lemonade in my head. Because it was so awful, the next night we tried again and did all we could to try and get a good scan. <laughs> no, okay, so there's 700 photos there. I've done 700. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's came out it's fucking sick. Look at that. Well, it's actually come out really well. And look at that, it's done like no texture and the hair currently. Nah, that looks sick though. Look at that. That looks so depressed. <laughs> I feel bad for myself. Oh, there you go. Look, so you can see if there's no colour with it. This is what it looks like just as a mesh. Actually, the mesh looks really good. And I reckon if I just do some touch ops on Fusion 360, when that comes out on the printer, that's gonna come out great. I think the hair definitely needs work. If I just fix the concave eyeballs, and then a little bit of smoothing, we should be pretty good, right? So, I downloaded the model on my computer to fix all the issues. In Blender, I can sculpt the model like clay, removing any texture that shouldn't be there, and then adding anything I missed. Then, I just had to cut the model at the neck. So I smashed it with all of this, but a problem came up. It's crazy, because there's a plugin that lets you see how good your print is for 3D printing, and these are all the errors that come up. It's just a complete mess. And you have a look in the middle, and it's like, there's all these cracks there, and just random shit that it ends up looking great on Blender, but fixing this near enough impossible. <laughs> and then if I try and use this same tool to make it watertight or whatever, to basically just try and automatically fix it for me, it just does this shit. And basically completely ruins the whole model. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do. So I tried for ages to figure it out and thought, I'll just give it a base plate and see what happens. It's doing something. Yes! i fucking show something to print. Yes, yeah, okay, so that's the direction then. Oh, thank fuck. So with a new circular base plate added, it was time to slice it. Holy shit, two days and 12 hours. Fuck, that's long. So this would be by far the longest print I've ever done. And I'm pretty sure my print is broken. So when it gets about halfway through the head, it's probably gonna fuck up. This is a big risk trying to do it this big, but fuck it, let's just save it to the disc. Two days and four hours is crazy. So I swapped out the filament to a bigger roll and got everything ready to start printing in the morning. I'm starting to print it now, it's fucking... The printer's broke, I've not used it in ages. Completely new filament, the biggest model I've ever printed. I don't have much faith, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> and as predicted, the first attempt didn't work out. But it's fucked up there and there. It's literally way off. Oh my day. Right, I'm gonna have to start that again. Fuck. Right, here we go again. It looks like it's actually attaching to the bed this time. Let's get ready in case it doesn't. Shit, it looks like it's doing it. Okay, yes. Oh shit, look, it's not attaching there. Shit. Fuck, that's not gonna work. So I was forced to give it a rest and try again later that night. Do you know what? This is looking way better actually. I'm, I'm excited for this one. That's looking better. Okay, it's really going for it now, isn't it? Fuck it, I'm just gonna let this one run now. And if it wipes out, it wipes out. If it doesn't, then we're fucked. <laughs> And I have to sleep through this annoying ass buzzing sound the whole night, right next to my bed. 
Right, so I'm not had a very good night's sleep next to it, but it's getting on kind of well. Let me show you. It looks kind of nice. It's fucked up a lot here. So there's a lot of stringy bits everywhere. There are supports that were supposed to be on this side that have completely fell down and they're gone. So that could become a massive issue later. This could be an issue. This is annoying that it's done like 10 hours and it's only done the fucking little bit of a neck. So this support is falling down, but it's somehow been all right. The ear is still printing, so I don't even think we need it. It looks a bit fucked. That ear is starting to come out now, so we're starting to see some progress of it actually working. This is red butt, so it's like a complete mess everywhere. But somehow it's actually working out all right. I was then away from my printer for a whole day, just begging that everything was fine until I could finally check up on it again. No way. Oh, that's starting to look sick. That bit's definitely messed up a little bit. <laughs> when it gets to a certain height, that's where it starts to grind and then mix an indent around there. All of these supports and everything that's fell down and somehow it's still working. Crazy. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to rip this off and see if we can it back on, I guess. Wow. Shit. Oh wait, it's completely come off the whole build plate. I've not attached it strong enough. All these supports are broken. All of this shit. Yeah, so it's actually completely off of it. After a full two and a half days of waiting, I could finally tear away the supports and find out what it looks like. Shit, look at all that. So this stuff is really just starting to peel off easily. This is the moment of truth, really. Oh my days. Oh my days. What the fuck, it actually looks sick. Mate, now we've got two ugly motherfuckers in our house. Look at him. What a beautiful boy. Look, he's even got a fucking face tumor. Shit, look at it. Alright, that's too far. <laughs> Considering my print is absolutely crap, the fact that it's printed like that is amazing. Does it look like this? Unfortunately. So I actually love how it came out. I think it looks amazing. So now I just need to decide if I want to use them as a really cool headset stand and even cooler biscuit tin or just let the man live his life. That's my boy!